Yeah? Don't want the camera on you, do you? Turn up. Yeah. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Hello, YouTube. And it is the 1st of May. Still in shutdown. We should be in the full swing. What? No, shutdown. Lockdown is when everything closes. Shutdown is when... Exactly. Um, still in shutdown. Yeah, we should be in full swing of things now. I should be taking way more than I am in terms from takeaway, but I'm not. But you know what? It's life, isn't it? We've got to deal with it and hopefully, well, it won't last forever. I know it won't, but it's fucking difficult. What I was going to actually do something, change the frame rate of this camera again to see if I, I've, changed, I've tested all frame rates. I think I have, but now I've written like a table down so I can see. Yeah, so today, the uh, shop next door opens up. And the only reason I don't mention it by name is just because I don't know if they want me to or not. I don't, I don't feel that's fair, so I haven't. Mainly because I slate, slate them. <laughs> so I better, I better not. They open today, so it'll be interesting to see how much that affects our trade. I think in terms of fish and chips, we'll do less, but you know, I think he's got his very loyal customer base which is fine there's more than enough um fucking trade for the both of us in paul lock it's only if he's gonna be a, a dick about it like i know that he was actually a bit of an ass to um the people who opened up a hotel in paul lock because they started using the same pies that he did he went over there and started shouting at them i think oh, i don't know yeah but i mean if he came in and started shouting at one of us that's i'm not gonna stand there and take that <laughs> you, you, um, yeah, I'm not gonna take that, my man. <laughs> Good luck to you. That's all I can say. Um, I think I might have said this in another video, though. So I've said that before. We'll do exactly the same as we did last week, which will be about 200, 220. Weather's nice, which means people are probably gonna be having barbecues. If I wasn't at work, I'd be, well, actually no, I wouldn't be having a barbecue because the current guidelines are saying don't, just in case someone next door to you has COVID. Oh. What's this? He's gonna enjoy the scratchings on that. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He loves, he loves scratching things as well. We should um, later cover this in catnip, so he definitely uses it. Cover everything in catnip for him. It's the only way forward. He can't be so drunk. He's gonna think, what the fuck is that? What yeah. do you think you're playing at, giving me this? I think he's gonna kill you. What's that noise? Are you sure it sounds like a turkey dog? It's an unhappy dog. A turkey dog, a dirk. <laughs> Dirk, dog turkey. Dirky. Oh, he's gonna be so tall, man, right here. Had to wait for a while to get these pens in, but we're just writing what we do on the menu because we've potentially got a massive board here for advertising on. Oh, great. Look what the cag dragged in. Yo! Like How are you guys? Hi, folks. Have you got another parcel? A no. Yeah. Yes. Oh, come this time on. It is definitely shit. Why? Because it's soft and it smells. Oh, just like his head. <laughs> yeah, I've stopped getting parcels now. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> very good. That was very good. Do you know what? This is Chinese chin. They know who I am. 09. And that's what chin is, 007. It's really impressive. Spagrid's just learned numbers. That's why he's constantly trying to say, say them out loud now. We'll teach him how to read soon. What are we saying? <laughs> yeah, it says Spags. You've got another parcel. Get over it. Stop being a real piece of shit and open it. Yeah, I think I can guess what it is. Well, what do you think it is? It's going to be baked beans. <laughs> Bloody heavy. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, that looks really good. Eggs and rice. Yeah, it's my favourite. Yeah. Smell the chilli. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It can smell you, Spags. Oh, Pranston baked beans. That's your favourite. Yeah. Isn't it? There's a note in there. Fucking hell, the packaging is amazing. No, there's no note. Oh, there is no note. What? Oh. Thank you for your order. Your order has been fulfilled to your satisfaction. That's, That's a bit presumptuous, yeah. isn't it? Well, guys, thank you very much. Whoever got these, I really appreciate it. I love Branston baked beans. Thank you again. Really touching, really nice. Thank you very much. I'm just getting like a bean fest. <laughs> You are a bean. So it's about, well, it's only five past five, but by now the tickets would have racked up. So I feel that the... Did you already have three orders? We already do have three orders. I'll shut the fuck up. 
It's now 25 past seven, five, sorry, 25 past five. Well, we're sure 25 past seven. Yeah. And I've, I, we've been busy enough that we've actually sold out chicken balls now. That's mental. I need to go change the glove because I just touched my face. Fuck sakes. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick update on that we are actually busy and lots of fish and chips. Chip and chow man on the go. Look at all those tickets. That looks like fish, but it's actually battered tofu. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. I like it a lot. Okay, so another fucking idiot has emailed us because they don't can't quite grasp this whole mail thing. Stuff I've ordered from like Amazon has come. And I'm like, fuck off. They are a billion pound company. I'm struggling to pay my staff, you fucking dickhead. I'm um, just getting, it's just, I, I've ranted about this before, so I'm not going to do a full rant, but fuck off, you fucking fuck. And I can't wait, I'm going to do like a promo, sort of intro that I'm going to post on the main channel so the people who have talked to us like fucking idiots can get a, a little glimpse of what I'm ranting about and why it's probably aimed at them, because they can go fuck off. You are not entitled to everything. You've been spoilt. You have been spoiled and you're a fucking brat and you can't grasp simple concepts that we're trying really fucking hard to survive and you're getting pissy because, you know, your delivery is slightly late. If you've watched our videos, you'll even know that Parcel Force and Royal Mail have been fucking ignoring us because they don't think that we're big enough on their main trip when people are on holiday so we get left behind for a week. That's fucking ridiculous. We have to deal with that. You don't fucking understand that. That doesn't affect your life, does it? No, because you're too self-involved in yours, you piece of shit. So, yeah, and they can't, a lot of people can't, and it is, I, I can see how it is difficult, but we send out emails when the order has been processed, which is not dispatched, which is why the email doesn't say your order has been dispatched. It means it has been processed, which means we have packed it, processed it through the delivery system, but then it still has to be picked up the next day. Well, that is just the way it has to go, because if we don't do that, we don't know if we've actually packed it or not. It's the system we use, it's, and because we're not large enough and we can't afford like five people packing in one day, the whole thing can get done in one day. So we pack, then, and in fact, they won't come to us in the time frame we want. We want them to come at 4 p.m. We've, I've paid for them to come at 4 p.m., but the delivery drivers refuse, well, the delivery depot refuses uh, to let the delivery drivers um, come here because apparently other places ship more. So instead of getting our three to 4 p.m. pickup, we get an 11 to 12. So if you order at like 10 o'clock that morning, there's no fucking way on earth we can process it before they get here. It, it's, it's not fucking fair. And you don't realize that because you're so spoiled with Amazon. They've ruined, that's what kills small businesses. And I get it, we have to change, we have to adapt. At the same time, get your fucking head out your ass and understand that this is difficult and we are fucking trying. Don't get fucking shirty with us, you fucking prick. So next door has opened today and they were actually busy, which is a good thing. That keeps him off our back <clears throat> and we're probably, well, this is one of the busiest Fridays we've had so far. Him opening hasn't affected our trade whatsoever. He's getting his loyal customers going there, which is fantastic for him. Brilliant. What is fucking pissing me off? The fact he's letting people queue outside his shop and not enforcing social distancing rules. So they're literally just standing there like they normally would. And because he lets them do that, they can't grasp it when we don't let them do it. Well, down there or over there, let us do it. Because they're fucking idiots doesn't mean I am. I am not gonna let you stand next to each other just because someone else does. That's so fucking ridiculous. I, would do, all right, I bet your parents said this to you as a fucking child. If Johnny, your best mate, jumped off a cliff, would you? Fuck no, so shut the fuck up. You, that is, it's just, that mentality is why our nation has got to what it has is now. And it, it's, it's, and it's fucking ridiculous. You've got no comprehension of anything other than yourself and you can barely look after yourself. Fucking hell. So when you give them a time slot and you say 20 past seven and they go, yep, yeah, I'll be there at half seven. And I'm like, no, you asked me what time, so I've told you a time and I'm giving you this time because we have slots. Oh, so I can't be there at half seven. No, 
because I don't want you to come when someone else is here. Oh. Oh, alright then. So they turn up early! So they turn up in someone else's slot! It's fucking ridiculous! Are you four fucking years old? It's like if the train that you're catching is at 20 past seven, you don't turn up at half seven and hope that it's still there. Yeah, <laughs> it's so utterly selfish. And what's really annoying is that those those kind of people are never going to see these rants because they're not those kind of people who would like me enough from the main channel to come here. So I am going to put like a uh, intro up so those people can go fuck off. I think I've said this already. Definitely repeating myself. It's, it, these are concepts that seven-year-olds learn. But because you feel like you're entitled to turn up whenever you want, these people are just the, the worst kind of... And, and the thing is, they'll probably be okay and their family members will be okay because... It's normally the fucking idiot assholes who get away with everything. Well, they always get away with it, so why does it matter any other time? That's, that's exactly who it is. Oh, it makes, it makes me seethe. They're fucking idiots. Just come back from cooking. I uh, have no idea where I was. Scotty or Com Hunter, who basically is Alan Partridge on a push bike, he's got a channel, it's linked it below, he's actually designing me a, a logo. They're really, they're good, but they're not exactly what I wanted. I want them a bit distorted, so they're a bit more rugged, if you know what I mean. Like the Jang's logo is very sort of fast and flowy and uh, urban-y as well, whereas, and because I rant a lot, I want it a bit, you know, distressed looking, if that makes sense. So Scotty's gonna do that um, logo design for me. That's what he does for a living, he, he's a designer. So I'm back, uh, yeah, I think I was saying distorted, you know, because I rant quite a bit and I rage, so I think, that would go quite well. So I went looking for that 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray um, that a couple of you advised me about. And they're fucking expensive, aren't they? They're not cheap. And I wish I'd never seen them because now I can see all the ones I really want. Movies I haven't even seen that I just want in a collection. Fuck's sakes. If only the times were different, I could afford to buy a few of them. Four is 40 quid on HD Blu-ray. Fucking hell. But then you got Gladiator, 20 quid. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to buy a dedicated Blu-ray player for it though, because I only have a PS4. Console that does it is an Xbox, and I'm not buying an Xbox just for the luxury of watching 4K. All the cheap movies are really shit, like the new Jurassic Park, and the second train spot, and that was boring as fuck. But that was a busy night. We've, I've probably taken about four, well, no, I've taken 460. Not the best Friday, but good, considering Matey Bollocks is open next door. Yeah, really happy with that, and I think tomorrow is gonna to be even busier just through what people are saying. That probably doesn't make sense to you, but just through like general chatter on the website and stuff like that. Sorry, I just read a, just got a takeaway from it. It was amazing, I just, that was a reference. That's absolutely awesome to hear as well. I mean, we do teach people how to do this on our YouTube channel. So we like, this is obvious, we do know what we're talking about kind of thing. It's really fucking nice to, have that backup as well. Like, when someone goes, you don't know what you're talking about, well, fuck off, mate. I'm literally, I'm literally doing this right now. So you can go fuck yourself, you fucking idiot. Really fucking happy, good day today. Um, I really cannot slate anything that's happened today. Bean sprouts are getting harder and harder to find. Like, they're just, uh, the. We, we went to the Chinese and we tried to pick up some bean sprouts. That's a two hour journey for us from here and the Chinese supermarket that is. And we asked and they said we don't do them at the moment because not enough Chinese takeaways are open for the bean sprouts manufacturers to be open. So the actual manufacturers in England of the bean sprouts, what? of the bean sprouts aren't even open. With small things like that that really affect us. And I'm just like, fuck. People love their bean sprouts as well. It's just, oh, we can cope with that. It's only a, a tiny, tiny issue but i'm actually shocked that we've done so much i know it's payday today but we've done quite a lot considering we now have competition because we were the only people open in the village uh, now we're not so that's really nice to know that it hasn't affected us we have done double what we did last friday so even fucking better if we can do the same tomorrow um we've had an okay week we would have, let me just check. I think we would have covered some, the costs for the week. Same as we did last week. Times that by four. No, we're still, <laughs> minus. Yeah, I'm still short about a thousand, 1,100 pounds for the month, but the uh, web store will pick that up. 
And if it doesn't, I can still afford to pay that. So, and if I don't get the grant, I can only do that for so long. I've just read, and I didn't know who this guy was until I just read this article, but um, David Icke, who is probably, well, it's, by the looks of it, he's one of the main conspiracist theorists spreading this uh, misinformation about 5G um, and coronavirus has literally been kicked off Facebook. That is so fantastic. I honestly didn't, would never have thought Facebook would have done that because they can be really shrewd and they just don't give a fuck as long as they're making money. But they've kicked him off. In one of his videos, he fucking suggested that a Jewish group of people were behind the virus. Oh my God, what a fucking moron. Let me see what else he says. Oh, he tweeted that fascist Facebook um, deleted his account. That's brilliant. Well done, Facebook, for that. Um, you've gone up a little bit in my estimations because misinformation like this causes so much harm and it's all this is like for people like him when they get this high up it no longer becomes about the truth it just becomes about holding the power because they're seen as you know they're the politicians of their uh, like uh, thought system they're the people with the voice they're the ones that get heard so therefore they have the power just like politicians here it's all about the power they're the the voice of the people so therefore they have the power it's exactly the same thing just on a smaller scale like i don't i can't i can't understand how people come to these sort of conclusions i know i've touched on this before but it's to me it's just so bizarre if what you're saying had any minute merit whatsoever it'd be testable it's not is it so you've literally just speculating yet you're preaching that as truth which is honestly disgusting and ridiculous just because you think something's right doesn't mean it is right until you test it and wishy-washy science doesn't count as you testing it. It needs to be replicatable for a start. It needs to be scientifically valid and it needs to have all the other hallmarks of fucking good research, which I'm pretty sure you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do. In fact, I know the Flat Earthers documentary, they actually had a couple of really good, um, what's the word, experiments to prove that Earth was um, flat except in every single one, they proved that the Earth was round. <laughs> Which is brilliant, that was on Netflix, I can't remember what it's called. Well, that's a good watch if you haven't seen it. But it's, that was absolutely fantastic. Because they were getting criticised that their methodology was shit, so their results were skewed. So when they started doing proper research, they, they, you should, oh, their faces when they, and they, oh, it was, it's just brilliant. Just go watch it if you haven't seen it. I wasn't gonna vlog this, but, um, only because I felt sorry for the person. They're, they're obviously just trying to find out something. So this isn't like a rant. Okay, so I've been doing YouTube now for, well, okay, two years. The first video, first year I only put one video up and then didn't for a whole year. Someone's just emailed saying, how much is a, or paraphrasing, basically how, how much is a measurement of three quarters of a teaspoon and where can I buy um, um, that measurement? And I, I've, Three years of doing this, basically. No, let's say two years of doing this. Not one person has asked that question ever. Like, never. I, I borderline thinking it might be trying someone to get a rant out of me. And, but they're really nice, so I'm not, this really don't want it to sound like condescending, but they, they, I've just never experienced that. What, what do you mean you can't, you don't know what two thirds of a teaspoon is? And then I, I, I literally just had to reply, look, a teaspoon, divide it into three equal parts, and then fill two of those parts up, and there's your two, uh, measurements there. I think a lot of people think that Chinese food is precise, it's not. No one measures a fucking thing. It's literally a splash of this, splash of that. So it's not about being precise. If you're being precise, you kind of ruin the experience of cooking Chinese food, to be honest. You need to be, obviously you need to be, um, you need to kind of know your quantities, but they, they don't have to be exact. And I just, I just wanted to share that with you because if any of you out there have ever gone, I don't know what, two thirds of a teaspoon on and had to ask someone, just let me know. I just, I thought it's quite self-explanatory to be honest. Bewildered by the question. I like that knife very much. Yeah, I think this one's nice though. I, I wish I'm it, looking that... forward to using this one for pizza and this one just for everyday chopping. Well, that one would be nicer if the handle was like that one. Yeah. We do have some Green Dragon back in stock now. Uh, but by the time this goes up, this probably would have sold out because people buy the shit out of this. Because it makes fantastic chicken balls. And it really fucking does. Oh, my favourite is actually tassel uh, pork balls. Mm. I can only eat two before I feel like throwing up because they're really greasy, but I love them. 
so much. Anyway, that's it for today. No, it's not. I will close up when I get home. Well then, I told you to hold on, but you didn't. Yeah, but you don't need to film me doing this. You've put catnip all over this now. I'll see if Tolo likes it. Oh, he's very sniffing. He's sniffing of the sniffers. Oh! You can't eat it. There's no eating it. Maybe we shouldn't... <laughs> maybe we shouldn't he's, sprinkle it in catnip. He's supposed to rub on it. Now, if we put it on the floor, he rubs on the floor, doesn't he? Yeah. You're not quite getting the hang of this, are you? Oh. There's a cutie pie. No! There's a cutie pie. He's semi getting it. Tom man, you're not very good at being a cat, are you? Such a weirdo. Note to self, don't sprinkle stuff in, in catnip if you don't want Toto to kill it. Oh Toto, you wanna talk it to dog? Cat crack! Yeah, this this cat crack is from John Who's Sims. Kitty crack. Kitty crack. Kitty crack is from John Sims. I think he's very much gonna enjoy this. He's a lovely, lovely little man. <laughs> don't so cool he was, Tom man! No, that's my bag. Toe! Are you sure we can't just pour a whole pouch on it? No. Oh. That's the best reaction I've seen him from Catnet. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was amazing. Very good idea, cat toy for him, wasn't it? Yeah. He's like, shit, it keeps coming back to life. <laughs> Might need more drugs to deal with this. <laughs> Do a line. Aww. Aww. Just to confirm, Total Man fucking loves Kitty Crack. At least it's probably going to happen when I want to watch this, they're not too much swearing. Too late, I've swollen a lot in the video. Oh. But I'll stop swearing now. Yep. Some pizza, we got some kebab. Pizza! Oh, that's, that's my animal. Hey, what's that? Why does it look different? I've got a donut kebab. Wings. Chicken Two of those. Um, oh no, they didn't give me an extra pizza bread. No, you can have those. I don't want You sure? Yeah. Here we go. And Lydia will probably finish most of this, won't you? Yes. Yeah. I haven't finished yet. I oh, know you haven't finished yet. We're halfway through. Well, I'm done actually. And I'm disappointed how little I ate. I did eat most of my chicken wings and the chips. But this will be saved, it won't be thrown away. The only reason I'm filming right now is because I just got a message on Instagram and apparently Johnny Vaughan, um, the Johnny Vaughan, as in... It says he's a television presenter. Yeah, he is a television presenter. Lydia doesn't know who he is. Oh, bless. Shut up. Mentioned our name on Radio X. So that's huge. That's fucking awesome. This year has already been mental in terms of our exposure, but that is even even bigger. Twice on BBC Radio Somerset. He, look, he looks like if that Vinnie Jones and Jason Statham ran really fast together. Yeah, he's a mixture of Vinnie Jones and Jason Statham. So that's insane. If uh, I don't care if he called me a real piece of shit. That, that's cool that he knows who we are. That's actually mental. That's actually crazy. Because Johnny Vaughan to me is, what was he on, Big Breakfast? Um, loads of stuff that I can't think of right now. <laughs> okay, so we were mentioned, and I'm gonna play it for you now. A anytime, so uh, there's me and my disappointing Chinese. Johnny, you need to go to Zhang's on YouTube. Their char soup pork is amazing. It could have a lot to do with the MSC, MSG you put in, but I've craved it ever since. Cheers, guys, for your dedication. Just thanks. I'll know where to go on YouTube to look at good food. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. That's genuinely awesome. Now, uh, Johnny Vaughan, obviously, is never going to go look at us on YouTube. He's got far better things to do, but that is so fucking awesome. Look at that little man. Toto! Hey, hello! Oh, he don't want no trouble. He just wanna sit there, do his thing. He don't want no trouble here. He'll have a nice, quiet drink. He don't need no trouble. He just have a quiet drink, eat some peanuts, no trouble here. 
No. Anyway, so it's for my weird cat talk. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Today has been a day, and it has been a good day. Hence the kebab. And I can already feel the chili poos coming on, so that's absolutely fantastic. Every fucking time. Anyway, I'll never fucking learn because it's so delicious in my mouth that I'm willing to put up with the um, specks of blood from having five poos on the toilet roll. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay in. Live long and fucking prosper. This is the way, and, all, and as always, suit up. Not sci-fi, but one of my favourite ever uh, sitcoms. Also, that Johnny Vaughan thing was fucking legit.